Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Hello everyone, so today is Thursday, October 21st. I'm chewing gum, so I apologize. But I got some news yesterday that just really, I don't know, it just, it's just causing me a headache. But you know how we've been having the issue with the furniture, we've been waiting on the shelving units, all of that stuff to come in so I can open my shop. Literally, we have all of this stuff here. We have all of these products just sitting in boxes waiting to be put onto the shelf, but there are no shelves to put it on. And I got an email that um, they're experiencing some congestion at the ports in LA where my stuff is supposed to be coming into, into the US. So it was actually supposed to come in today, but they are saying it's not gonna come in until October 30th because of the congestion at the ports. Um, meaning my furniture is estimated to come in November 24th, which is more than a month from now. So I'm tired of waiting, honestly. I've hired a new person, which he left for the day already. I'm going to have to introduce you guys to him, but um, I've been training a new person on candle making. We've trained on um, inventory. So all of this stuff that you see here, he pretty much um, put that into the system, put you know prices on it everything like that he's learning candle making he's doing really well and i personally don't want to wait another month to open up the store because i feel like i'm just waiting i'm ready to open and all i'm missing are shelves i was really avoiding this because i didn't want to pay even more money for furniture or shelving when i've already paid a ton in shipping costs and all of that for this stuff but it's getting to the point where People are like looking in my windows, wondering when I'm going to open. I'm getting people coming up to me on the street like, hey, when are you going to open the store? So I'm finally just going to go ahead and do a temporary setup. And I think maybe tomorrow, which is Friday, Friday or Saturday, I'm going to go to Ikea. I'm going to get some Billy bookcases. So that's the plan. I'm going to try to make it look as nice as possible, but not have to spend too much money. So this is going to be retail boutique on a budget i guess but anyway that's the plan and i'm going to see you guys later when we go to ikea and get some shelving hello everybody today is saturday and we have just got back from ikea and we got some stuff it cost about 514 dollars for all of the things that i had to get to kind of do a really quick store opening um, but I think it'll turn out okay. So I got a couple of Calyx units and there are some things that I already have that I'm just going to move from the back of the store up to the like retail area. So I'm gonna repurpose some things, but let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so here are some shelving units that I got. Initially, I was gonna go for the Billy bookcases, but I found these, which I think are new to Ikea. They're called the Gersby. And these were $30, $30 for the shelving. They're a little bit shorter than the Billy bookcases, but it's not a big deal. Um, so I got four of these and the Billy bookcases, I think are $50 per bookcase. So this did save quite a bit. So I bought four of these. Um, yeah, four of these. And then I bought, my husband is on it. I bought two big Calyx units. And then I bought one of the small Calyx units and I'm gonna make some center pieces here. So there's gonna be some center pieces um, as far as like the, whatever these are called, the store shop window <laughs> things. I'm actually just going to repurpose this thing. So I'm gonna give it a fresh coat of paint and this is actually new countertop. So you see how it matches this. So we went ahead, um, well my husband did, when he put in these countertops we had extra, so I just told him to re-countertop this and I'm glad we did that because all we have to do now is put some white down, which I think we do have some white in the back. So a piece of furniture is going to go there when the furniture gets in, 
But to cover up the cooler, we just bought more of these curtains and we'll cover up the cooler with that. Maybe I'll put some bookcases or something in front of there, some type of display. Even at Ikea, a lot of this stuff was out of stock and that's kind of, you know, for a lot of places. Um, so a lot of places just aren't able to get their stuff here in time or shipping from China is just kind of crazy right now. So if I were to do it over, I probably would um, just, you know, do my whole setup from Ikea and kind of find another way to personalize it or make it unique. But that is, you know, hindsight. So we're making do now and a lot of the furniture I picked, I made sure that I would be able to repurpose it um when the store does open so once we do get all of our other furniture in we can still rearrange everything and use it um you know in the store so it's not a total waste it's spending more money than i would have liked to but at this point um, i've hired an employee he's already getting trained and we just need to open up the store i'm tired of waiting so anyway that's what's going on um and i have a workshop today so we're going to just put together as much stuff as we can in the next couple hours and then I'm gonna do my workshop and then probably come back later and finish everything up. So that's where we're at. So I wanted to take a second to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. So if you guys don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. So you know I love using Skillshare to enhance my business skills. So there are a lot of people who ask me about wholesale. So I found this class by Emily Weckezer. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. But she's talking more so about her fashion brand. But this is really great to gain some knowledge about wholesale. So this is how to pitch your products and start selling wholesale. She's going to tell you all the terms, line sheets, and pricing policies and kind of the ins and outs of wholesale so Skillshare was kind enough to give us a deal so the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today thanks again Skillshare and let's get back to the video all right check out our stationary table here's the window and we've got fake plants and we've got dead crickets I'm gonna have to sweep but this is a real plant but I could only commit to one real plant in here. So we have these fake plants and I'm gonna to try to keep this plant alive. And we got this from Ikea a couple weeks ago. Oops. And this is the plant stand we got from Ikea. And then this is this thing and I emptied it out. So there's nothing in here except for other little pieces that go with this thing so and then we have this here's our stationery so we've got all of our notebooks here we've got our Harry Potter planner pens more pens Hello you guys, so I'm going to give you the daytime tour of what it kind of looks like right now. This is the next day, so you probably saw me last night doing some stuff in here. But this is kind of how it looks in the daytime. I'm just going to do a little pan so you can kind of see. Um, and there's still a lot of boxes and stuff on the floor. And then this whole wall is going to be candles. So I'm going to put some candles out now. We have quite a bit in the back that I'll probably just bring to the front. And then the rest of the week, Devin is going to work on making more candles for that wall. Um, there is more product that's supposed to be here, but it hasn't come in yet. So we might have just enough product to fill up all of these shelves, which it's not a lot of product. I feel like, I don't know, this is not the ideal situation but we're just making do trying to do what we can with what we've got i really like the stationary section i think this turned out really cute and i think you know when people walk by and kind of see the little plant here and this little thing um they might be intrigued to perhaps come in i don't know but we're gonna be getting some more um drinkware i guess tumblers that were really cute um this is our jewelry which i have some more of this jewelry that i need to put up here and i feel like i feel like i had more than this i feel like i'm missing some 
I don't know, maybe it's, I think it's at my desk and I need to just add tags to it. But I really like this brand and then I put a little more information in case people want to read. And I actually think I have some pieces that can act, stand this up so you can see that. So here's kind of our knickknack wall, I guess more so for kids and stuff when kids come in with their parents. I do have a few more toys coming in. I do want to get some more like adult knickknacks, just like things that you, you know, just gift items, I guess, which the tea is coming in. There's a few more other Bath and Body products coming in. Um, so we're just waiting on the last of our shipments. And I think I'm going to go ahead and purchase more product stock for the store. Um, just because, just to fill it out more. Because when we do get the other stuff in, we're going to have a lot more shelving. And obviously we're going to need more product to put in the store. So uh, right now we just have some stuff here and i might have shown this in the last clip but anyways these are really cute little candle critter things they actually are you can paint them and then put a tea light in them um and then this is cool this is like a a treasure candle thing <laughs> but anyway like that you have these treasures that come in these wax pods and then you make your own candle and you put these wax pods in the candle molds and then when you burn the candle, it's going to burn the wax and then you'll find whatever little treasures. So I feel like kids would like that though. So this is really cute. Um, watercolor kits. I feel like this could be adults or kids. Like if you're, you know, just having a weekend and you want a watercolor, this has literally everything you need for watercoloring. Um, rock stuff it's like that i know my son likes rock stuff and then these i thought would be really good stocking stuffers for the holidays so little puzzles and cross stitch kits again little activities you can do if you just feel like doing something and then we have lotion we're getting more bath and body stuff in and then i put all of our matchbox little stuff so i thought these would make for really good stocking stuffers and i have i have more of these that i can fill up um, this little area with but yeah so these are just little matchbox kind of gift things so if you're giving like someone a little gift you could you know but these these are really cute back here is a little bit more knickknacks I'm not quite sure on exactly the se section it's not you know my ideal situation I really don't like having the chocolates down here and this but that's kind of all I could fit but um I don't know of course you know we're just doing what we can here and then these are like some more stuff that kids might want to buy some little slime stuff and then we have more food here so we have a ton of candy um i didn't realize when i bought this candy but this candy is like really expensive you guys some of it is like nine dollars like this is nine dollars i don't set these prices by the way this is the manufacturer or um, the brand is setting the prices uh, and I just put them on to the product but these are only five dollars and these are so good these nuts I feel like people would really like these so we've got nuts and then we have uh, our little jewelry display and then our card displays back there this is going to be the register once I clear that all out Alright everybody, so we got a new shipment of supplies, so I'm going to open this up and I'm really excited about this one because this is all of our cups and tumblers that um, I think people will really like. And this is Devin, you guys, he's the new candle maker. Hello. <laughs> so we've been training for like two weeks, I think this is his third week working now. So he's been really good, he's caught on to making the candles and we've just been working and we're just about to open the store next week so we're kind of getting everything together my husband's in the background if you hear um the drill he's attaching things to the wall but some new tumblers I think I got six of these, so, oh, they're all labeled, that's nice, they're all labeled, hopefully they all have barcodes, yay, they have barcodes, wait, oh, this one's different, this one is, 
do the Christmas one. It's a tad bit different. So, that's bigger width. I don't know how you're supposed to wash these. I guess these are hand wash. That would definitely fall off in the dishwasher. Ooh, so this is not a Christmas one. So this is, it reminds me of Disney. Look at that, isn't that cool? Oh, look at that. Look. Okay, so I wanted to show you what we did with the retail setup. First of all, my husband came and he secured these cabinets to the wall so they're not going to tumble down on anybody. And then I kind of um, put more stuff. So I went ahead, once he secured everything, I put the jams and jellies. Are there jellies? What are these? Preserves? Jellies? I don't know the difference, but I put these up. I haven't tried one yet. I should probably bring one home and try it out. But strawberry rhubarb, that sounds delicious. Strawberry rhubarb, hot pepper jelly, sweet cherry. These sound really, really good. Honestly, I might take one home. <laughs> um, and then right here, I put these. I originally had them on the top shelf, but I figured kids would be more drawn to this. So I put it at, you know, kids eye level, I guess. I don't know if that's wrong, but I mean, if it's for kids, you want the kids to see it. So <laughs> I put this down here and I ended up moving the tumblers to the top shelf. So these are the tumblers we just got in today. I actually just put in another order because they are so cute. I know a lot of people will want these. Um, I know they're very popular, like on TikTok. I see a lot of people making these, but these are adorable and they have a lot more different, um, whatever, a lot more different skews of these tumblers and they're fairly priced at $14 so I figured these might go really really well in the shop this holiday season so I bought some more tumblers um, and then I got some tumblers for people who are a little more classic and don't want a whole bunch of you know cutesy stuff so I just got some tumblers there and then I set up our little matchbox display I don't know if I've shown you guys these but they're pretty much just like little gifts in a box so um we have this one's like a meteorite in a box let me show you so this one is a little piece of a meteorite how cute so these make i guess really good gifts um yeah so this is just <laughs> a little piece of a meteorite and then we have little cross stitch kits so these are mini cross stitch kits and it comes with everything you need to make a little cross stitch character so these are kind of cool so we have that and then these are neat they're Christmas um, music boxes and I have one on display so pretty much let me show you guys isn't that cute and then there's a little movement back there but those are really neat so we have Christmas boxes and then we have little Christmas ornaments so these are mini books. So this is a mini book and also we have The Night Before Christmas. Is that what it's called? The Night Before Christmas is a mini book. And then this is snow in a box. So this actually, when you add water, that makes like little snow. And I'm showing you all of these. <laughs> Look at this, it's like little miniature, you know. I know there's a lot of people out there who like miniatures and there's glitter on my hand. We were just making candles, but. Um, these were too small for me to actually put price tag so i thought you know putting like a price tag might look tacky especially if you're giving it as a gift so i just put the prices onto these little thingies i actually got these from the the target dollar spot and they were five dollars a piece these little risers and they were just perfect for these match boxes so um, that's what i'm using them for right now so i just made this with my little label printer and then my little display one um, and then I got these earlier. You saw me got, you get these, so I just put those here. My stationary section is kind of, oops. My stationary section is kind of full, so I couldn't fit any more notepads there. And then I kind of like redid this part here. So we have uh, the greeting cards. So these were towards the back corner, but I decided to pull them up to the front a bit because I do think this is kind of like a, a standout piece. Uh, and then we, I kind of 
rearrange this and my husband made this to where this is very anti-tip and safe the fire marshal came earlier like i said so we wanted to make sure he was impressed with our safety features um, this is two different pieces and the problem with this calyx is if you simply just would you know push it or run into it or bump into it with your shoulder it has a potential to kind of tip backwards when it's not affixed to a wall so what he did was i don't know if you guys can see but there is like a let me move the camera there's a wire here that's holding the two pieces of furniture together so the two pieces are together and he has the safety wire really taut um so that even if you were to bump bump this it's not going to fall backward and then i had these risers from the Macy's event that I did. So I still had them in my little bucket where I keep all of my craft show stuff. And so I added the risers and it gave it a nice little display for our tumblers here. So I thought that was so cute, um, something we already had. And then I added more candles at the bottom because I don't want to leave, I don't want to put product down here and make people like bend down all the way, but I don't want to leave it empty. So I just you know, figured candles would be a good filler to put down there and then in our cart we have more tumblers on the second shelf so these are different than these tumblers so you can see the difference I kind of showed you guys in the unboxing earlier but these are so cute and I noticed that look at that little candy cane you're gonna have to excuse our mess on the floor <laughs> I gotta pick that up another thing is my husband hung this curtain so you can't see the cooler in the back for now and then I put, did some work on these. So these didn't have barcodes. I purchased 50 more barcodes. Um, and I went ahead and associated the barcodes in the POS system, barcoded everything. So at the checkout, it's going to be nice and easy to check out. Look at these earrings, you guys. Look at these. Hot Cheetos and Coke. Hello everyone. So I'm recording on my phone because I forgot my camera at work. But I wanted to show you guys what I've got going on for Halloween since this video is going to come out around Halloween time. But the first thing I wanted to show you is how I make my trick-or-treat candy a tax write-off. So I just posted this video on TikTok like a couple hours ago and it seems to be blowing up at 30,000 views. So people really like this idea. But anyways, I take treat bags and I'll open one up just to kind of show you guys. Let me open one. Try to open it so I don't mess it up too bad. But so here are the treat bags. And I have all sorts of goodies in here, like candy, um, toys, all this good stuff, candy, all rings. So I pretty much put like candy and toys in the treat bag for the kids, bouncy balls. Um, but what I do to make this a tax write-off, so this is actually kind of, it costs a bit of money, you know, to buy all these candy and toys. So what I do is I print out, um, these stickers, Happy Halloween, and I put treat bags brought to you by Winding Wick Candles and then my retail location business address for all of the kids in town. So this is kind of how I make it like marketing. So these treat bags are considered marketing for Winding Wick Candles. So then, you know, the candy, the bags, the stickers is all now a tax right off. And the kids get some really cool little treats. These are supposed to be like, look at this guys. They're like legs <laughs> and bouncy balls. So I love doing Halloween. I love giving really, really cool treats. But anyways, that, and I also wanted to show you guys my Halloween costume. So my plan this year is to be a plague doctor. So I have my Halloween costume. I measured myself, it fits perfect. So I'm gonna wear that and we're gonna have like fog machines outside, spooky stuff. And new this year, I actually started learning more about digital decorating. So I have two projectors. I bought some, a media player. So we're gonna be projecting some stuff looking like some ghosts in the, you know, in the windows and also doing some projection. What else am I doing? Oh, on my TV. So this is the Samsung Frame TV. I'm gonna put a clip 
but it looks like a picture frame, but it's a TV. So I bought a media player to make it look like there's like some ghostly thing portrait on the TV or whatever. So these are my little trick-or-treat bags that I'm handing out this year. And I love like, look at this little witch. So watch, we put the witch like this. I feel like I'm making old school 2008 YouTube videos with this phone, you guys, but like here. And then the witch is gonna take off and just, oh! <laughs> okay, I have too much fun on Halloween, I'm telling you. But anyways, that concludes my video for this week. And thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you guys wanna learn more about Skillshare and their offer, the first 1,000 of you to click the link down below, get a premium trial membership of Skillshare. So check that out. And I will see you guys on the next one. Happy Halloween, everybody. Bye.